According to a popular modern myth, computer hackers are among the most dangerous people on the planet. Hackers can steal money, personal information, and entire identities by employing a set of skills known only to a select few. In this video, we'll see some of the richest hackers in the world. Number 5. Edward Pearson Edward Pearson, who was only 23 years old at the time, created several sophisticated computer programs including Zeus, SpyEye, and Python. The programs look for personal financial information on the internet, such as credit card numbers and names. PayPal, one of the world's most popular payment processing and storage services on the internet, was among the internet companies affected. Pearson then extracted information from over 200,000 accounts. Pearson and his girlfriend were first apprehended at a luxury hotel while attempting to pay the bill with stolen credit card numbers and PayPal accounts, despite Pearson's lawyer arguing in court that Pearson's hacking activity was motivated by a desire for intellectual challenge rather than financial gain. To demonstrate how much information Pearson stole, police stated that if all the details were printed out on paper, they would fill over 64,000 sheets. Number 4. Vladimir Drinkman and Group Russian hackers strike once more. This group stole over 160 million credit and debit card numbers through their international hacker organization. A company that processes credit and debit card payments for hundreds of businesses lost an incredible $200 million in one of the thefts. 7-Eleven Inc., Dow Jones, J.C. Penney Company, and Visa Inc. were among the companies represented. Global Payment Systems suffered the second largest loss, totaling $93 million. Drinkman is being held in the U.S. and Kalinin is being held in the Netherlands, while the other three criminals are still at large. Number 3. Matthew Bevan and Richard Price Matthew Bevan and his alleged friend, Richard Price, may have caused several problems between the U.S. and North Korea by directly attacking the overly sensitive nerves. The pair hacked and used U.S. military computers to infiltrate foreign networks. The critical contents of the Korean Atomic Research Institute have been dumped into the USAF system. The contents, on the other hand, were largely important to South Korea and thus less unpredictable. However, this could have resulted in a major international issue. Number 2. Gary McKinnon Gary McKinnon is the world's best hacker in 2022. He must have been a curious, restless child because he thought it would be better to gain direct access to NASA channels to learn about UFOs. He infiltrated 97 U.S. military and NASA computers by installing viruses and deleting a few files. Despite all efforts to satisfy his curiosity, he killed the cat with interest. McKinnon was soon found guilty of hacking the military and NASA websites from his girlfriend's aunt's house in London. While entering and deleting files from those websites wasn't enough, McKinnon considered shaming the security forces by posting a notice on the website that said, Your security is crap. McKinnon appears to have been great because he was able to shut down the Washington network of approximately 2,000 computers in the U.S. military for 24 hours, making the hack the largest computer hack ever. Number 1. The ATM Hackers When an international group of hackers stole $45 million in cash from ATMs in just minutes, they combined hacking with hands-on robbery. The plan was for the hackers to break into a prepaid credit card database and steal all of the information. The hackers simply went up to various ATMs in cities around the world and withdrew the funds using fake magnetic swipe cards, similar to those used to unlock hotel rooms, that were loaded with the information stolen from the prepaid cards. The gang operated on a global scale with cells in the US, Japan, Russia, and the UK. Thankfully, no money was taken from individuals. Because the funds were allocated from prepaid credit cards, the only ones who lost money were the banks and credit card companies, the majority of which were insured in such cases. Arrests began in March 2013 following investigations. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Would you like to become a hacker? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.